Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can work with the prompt generator AI and add your own strategies in there, how you can generate you know, longer length articles, how you can create eBooks and so much more. Um, and I'm gonna be showing you a brief example of how you're gonna be able to make your own strategies in this video. So I actually did create a video um, just before this and I went to save it and it crashed unfortunately and it actually worked out, it worked really really well and, and really really nicely. But what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and do that again. So I actually created this um, subheading one called five subheadings and it was five, it was actually seven or eight prompts down here. I'm going to delete this prompt and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I actually done this. So I've got this one down here and what I did is I for the very first prompt, I've got give me five title suggestions for an optimized and engaging article about the keyword. And then I've added in my short code, the keyword short code. Now, what I could do, guys, is I could come along here, go over to strategies, and I could come in here and add my prompts one here and click on enter. And for example, this could be prompt number two. Okay, click on add. And as you can see, the prompts are going getting added inside of here. I can go ahead and generate my short codes for the outputs, um, and then I could name it and I could save it over. In fact, if I didn't like where this prompt was and I wanted it in a different place, I can highlight it and then send it down as well if I wanted to. Add more prompts inside of here. So this is exactly how you can do this, guys. And you can double click them and then you can edit them as well if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add them inside of this file. And the reason I'm adding them inside of this file um, is because it allows us to see it a little bit easier. So what anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm telling ChatGPT, I'm saying give me five title suggestions for an optimized and engaging article about the keyword keyword. Okay, then I'm saying using title number one, generate five subtopics. So I'm telling ChatGPT to give me five titles, optimized titles, and I'm saying for five for, for title number one use um, give me five subtopics and then I'm telling it down here using subtopic number one generate paragraphs that include lists and FAQs in an interesting tone for professionals using markdown format that I'm saying using subtopic number two number three number four and number five so basically I'm telling chat GPT to give me an optimized title then I'm telling it to generate five subtopics for that optimized title and then I'm telling it to generate paragraphs frequently asked questions and lists for each one of those sub paragraphs or for those subtopics okay and what I should do is generate let me see if I can do generate multiple paragraphs and let's see if that actually oops makes a difference because I'm gonna actually show you the output of the last one as I said I did create the video and um, unfortunately it wasn't recording okay so basically what I've done here I've just changed this from the last one saying generate multiple paragraphs that include lists and FAQs okay so I'm gonna save this over and I'm gonna actually show you the outcome down here. Um, and you're gonna be able to see it down here. So it's saying using subtopic five, generate paragraphs that include lists, FAQs, and interesting tone for professionals using markdown format. Whereas in this one, we're, we're gonna write generate multiple paragraphs. Because if you have a look down here, when it is generating the paragraph, so it's giving us the subtopic, then it's giving us the one paragraph, and then it's giving us some lists, a couple of lists down there, and then it's giving us a few FAQs down there as well. So I'm hoping that generating multiple paragraphs with that prompt, we're gonna be able to get more keywords in there. Okay, so I'll call this five subheadings. I don't know what else to call it. Um, I'm gonna import it over. And... Here we go, five subheading articles. And as you can see, we've got multiple prompts down here. I can double click on any one of these. If I wanted to add my own prompt in here, I could go ahead and add my own prompt in here as well, um, or I could add it into the file. The first thing that I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna generate short codes for all of the outputs or all of the prompts. Okay, but prompt number one is just generating me five title suggestions, which I don't really care about. So I'm not gonna save prompt number one. I don't need it. Okay, prompt number two, which is output number two, is gonna give me, using title number one, generate generate five subtopics. Okay, so these five subtopics is what the entire article is gonna be about now. So I'm gonna be keeping that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in something like subtopics. So then I know what my subtopics are. And then this is the article here. Okay, so article is output three, four, five, six, seven. 
Article output three is using subtopic number one, generate multiple paragraphs and FAQs and what have you until we get down to the very final one. Okay, so I'm gonna click on save. As you can see, the strategy added successfully. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and go over to automation. I'm gonna select this strategy down here, five subheadings. I'm gonna add my keyword SEO has already been added and I've already reduced the delay down here between the prompts so that we can have it work faster. And I'm gonna click on start. Okay, so let's see how this works. So now it's giving me five optimized titles for the keyword SEO. We're gonna tell the software, you know what? We're telling ChatGPT, we wanna go with the first title. Now generate me five subtopics. So here it's generated me five subtopics now for this one. And now we're telling it to generate multiple paragraphs for the first topic. Uh, oh, look at this. That's much better, isn't it? Okay, so this is the first subtopic now. Okay, so here's a subtopic. You generated a nice paragraph. It's even generated another um, subtopic, another subtopic again, or within that subtopic. So it's all about keyword research. And then it's given us some lists, and then it's given us some frequently asked questions. I actually like that. We don't need these references, but anyway, we can remove all them later. And now it's saying using subtopic number two, generate multiple paragraphs. So here's subtopic number two. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. Let's have a look to see what the actual subtopics were. So here's the subtopics, keyword research, on-page optimization, link building strategies, technical SEO. Okay, so the very first one was keyword research. The second one was on-page optimization. It's still done the second. Okay, we should have said do not include references. Okay, so subtopic number three, link building. I actually like this one much better than the first prompt. And the reason behind it is because look, we've got link building and now it's telling us some, it's, 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 it's breaking link building down to subtopics as well. So it's saying link building, we can do by guest blogging. We can do by broken link building. Uh, we can do by the, using the skyscraper technique. Okay, and then it's giving us a nice paragraph for each one. This is real nice stuff, guys. Okay, and then look at this, some nice FAQs and giving us a conclusion we don't need the references again, um, probably go in in the prompts and say, do not add references. Okay, so technical SEO, um, this is prompt number four or subtopic number four. Um, really cool guys, look at that. Conduct a site audit, improve your website speed, fix broken links. These are like lists, but in paragraphs. And now it's going ahead and giving us paragraphs. So we could actually go ahead and tell it at the end. What we should have actually done is we should have told it as in another prompt, now create an introductory paragraph for this article using the content that you have written above. Um, and then we'd have a perfect introduction for that article as well. Okay, so basically what we're telling ChatGPT to, to do is do everything for us from, you know, from brainstorming the one title, we only gave it a keyword, SEO, to brainstorming the subtopics, to adding lists and paragraphs and FAQs um, for each one of those subtopics um, down here. Okay, so this was, let me just go up a second. Oh yeah, it's done. Okay, so that was topic number five. Brilliant stuff, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the editor. As you can see, this was the, this was the first one, guys, that I'd done where the video wasn't recording. We've got 2,387 words. As you can see, we've got the headings and then we've got the article down here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and import the new article that we created. This one was 2,387. I think the new one is even better, uh, sorry, even longer. Check that out, 2,944. Okay, so these are the sub topics and now we've got the article down here. Keyword research, find the right keywords for your content with FAQs. Okay, we'll probably remove this reference section down here because we don't want it. Um, even this here as well. Sure, here's an example of an article, right? We don't need that. Okay, so on-page optimization flows into it perfectly. And again, sure, here's an example. We don't need that. Okay, link building strategies. Okay, and then we can go ahead. We don't need this part down here as well. Oops. Ah. Okay, and then we can come down here and do the same. Basically, you're just cleaning up the article really, really quickly because it's got references in here and it's got some other notes down here. And we can we can quickly get rid of this um, by telling ChatGPT that we don't want none of this stuff in there. Um, and it's really cool, guys. 2,799 words in this article. 
um, a nice long form article and we've basically told ChatGPT to do everything for us. Okay, one more thing that I was mentioning in the last video as well, guys, um, I might as well bring it up now. Um, but if you have a look at some of these prompts, so many of these prompts actually prime ChatGPT. So what they're saying is I want you to act as a Linux terminal. I want you to act as an English translator. I want you to act as an interviewer. Okay, so when you're telling ChatGPT to do all this, um, then you don't really need to save the output. So this example down here, where we added in the actual five subheadings, um, as you can see, we didn't save output number one. What you could do is you could have output number one, number two, number three, whatever you want. I'm just giving you an example um, as the actual prime. So you could say you are an SEO optimization. You are an SEO marketer with advanced SEO knowledge. You've been practicing SEO for I don't know how many years. When I give you a keyword, you're going to be doing this, this, this and this, or you're going to be doing whatever. And you don't have to save the output. And then the rest of the prompts that come after it um, in, you know, one after the other, then you can actually go ahead and save those outputs. So it's really cool what you can do with this guys um, I'll actually share this file with you as well so you can get an understanding of how I've created it I literally created this in in the first video guys really really quickly and as you can see down here I've actually created this as well in a interesting tone for professionals using markdown format so what I done first is I actually created generate paragraphs that include okay it wasn't this one was it we changed it over to multiple paragraphs okay so generate multiple paragraphs okay and if you have a look towards the end of this I've got in a interesting tone for professionals using markdown format. So I thought, you know what, let me make the prompt a little bit better. So I use the prompt generator AI to create a better prompt for me. And then I added it into the prompt and then imported it as a strategy and then went ahead and created a nice article. So anyway, guys, you can do this for ebooks. Let's just say, for example, you wanted to create an ebook. You could tell ChatGPT to create you an outline for an ebook. Then it'll go out there and create you about 10 to 15 parts for an ebook. Now you could turn around and say, now go ahead and create me an outline or create me a section for the first part of the outline that you've created, then the second part, then the third part, then fourth part. And you could add everything up together, guys. With you using strategies in the right way, I have no doubt that you'll be able to create ebooks. Of course, you will need to proof it. You will need to go over it and clean up any any errors. As you notice down here, when we're working with ChatGPT, we don't want these references, okay? Now, the, the I know this now. So when I go ahead and create another prompt, I can tell ChatGPT not to add these references in there. There's some other things that ChatGPT is adding down here as well. Sure, here's an example of an article subtopic. Okay, so these are the kind of things that we don't want in the actual article. So we'll have to go over the article, clean it up. So if you're creating an ebook, you're gonna find things in there until you actually master that prompt um, to actually get it out there and and create you so, so you will need to go out there and edit them as well so anyway i really hope you enjoy this video I, ho I hope this video gives you a better understanding in how you can create your own strategies how you can create longer form content how you can actually get chat gpt to do all the work for you so everything that we've created down here guys was from just the one keyword okay um, and obviously our strategies but now we can go back and recall that strategy for multiple keywords as much as we want okay so anyway guys i really hope you enjoy this video and Thank you very much for your time.